Okay, we're going to prove that this setup will run your uh, DVD videos. So I got here a uh, sort of an underground uh, DVD. I don't think it's copyrighted, so I'll show you what goes on. Now I've used a bunch of different OS's, and I'm telling you, this one is the one to go with. It gives you the most capability of all of them. The close second was uh, Haiku, but there was no audio. Um, and uh, it, Haiku would read your PDFs. Also, you can't get online with the Haiku with a USB uh, um, USB Wi-Fi USB <laughs> Wi-Fi USB. So anyway, trust me on this. This is a good setup. Uh, for your Miltope, it give you the most capability. So you want to hit play, which will open up Gnome Player, and then you're gonna go to File, and whoop. everything's done with that little finger mouse thing. So I'm a little, a little, uh, not practiced on it. Um, you go to disk and open with menus. See if this goes up. This is your title menu, and like I said, it's kind of an underground DVD. So, let's see if it'll play. There we go. So, anyway, you got audio and you got sound. So. We're going to eject this thing. And we're going to sh file. Quit. And uh, Linux is, is kind of easy to understand once you work with it. Uh, especially the puppy ones. And so you want to eject the disk. And I think you have to unmount it first. Obviously, it's not rehearsed here very good. And it won't. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So you, you open the, the tray, take out the disc, and there's the other proof. This is to show that it'll open up a PDF and you can read it. This is a disc got off the internet. I think it's expired uh, copyright old books and things but um, it'll, it'll read them just the same this is to prove so you go down to this I think and then and then you open it up so um We'll open this one. <clears throat> this is a good amount to have. Um, one of these days, I'll get around to making one of these or buying one. But this is to show you that you can read PDFs, um, play movies. Uh, I'd I'd play some. Uh, I'd play you some uh, MP3 audio and stuff too. But just take my word for it. It does those fine. It does other things too, but if you, as long as you can get your movies, you can get your your digital books, um, surf the net, um, uh, you know, do basic little things like that, um, email, you know, through the net and things like that. And it, it has all your basics. And this is a lot better than just being a brick, which is what the military general releases them as. Like I said, taking the hard drives out and things like that. So, um, like like any system, depending on uh, the format of the PDF, uh, it'll display well or not. 
but the point is it'll be uh, readable so um, there you go so basically that's that's a the, the, the proof that it will do what you need it to do um, the only thing I can't prove to you is the Wi-Fi because like I said I don't have a local Wi-Fi uh, system so, um, just take my word for it. Uh, what I'll do, I think, is in the comment, or excuse me, not, not the comments, but the description, I'll, uh, I'll post a link to the, um, Panda Wireless, uh, USB Wi-Fi that you can get on Amazon. And what they do is they include a, a puppy disc that will give you your puppy. And then I'll, I'll probably put some links on... How you would put a, a Linux Puppy OS onto a USB, um, and then run the USB the USB Linux on startup, and then you get all this with uh, without the uh, like I said, there's nothing in there except uh, the uh, DVD uh, reader and three by five reader. Those are open bays right there. I think that was a battery one, battery two, and this this was the original hard drive bay. So, um, uh, leave some comments if you want me to go over some more functions of this uh, unit. I'm trying to keep this video short. I mean, a lot of people have uh, attention spans of a gnat, and they just can't handle it. Um, so, there we go. Um, there are, I'll show you the menu right quick, what you can do, apparently. Even I haven't had the time to explore all the different, uh, all the different, um, functions. But supposedly it's a good deal because the program is free, the operating system is free, sorry. And then you get all these free programs in there of, di of differing value. The other good thing is you you can have this uh, save your status to your USB on shutdown. That's why when it comes up, it has a screensaver that I chose and a bunch of other statuses and things that I had from my last session. It saves your session to the USB, and that way you're not starting fresh again. It and normally if this was a fresh install, it it run you through you know the time zones your you know different your 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 uh your basic start of things they didn't go through that because it's sort of been set up like that and so um the other thing too is because um let me see if you look at the uh the u s b hard drive only a very, which is right there. You see, see my finger. Only a very small amount has been used. Um, I think there's still about 55 gigs left on there. And so, if you think about it, uh, you still get a lot of storage on a USB. Uh, I forget what the original storage on these things were. I think it, I think there were 20 or 30 gigs or something like that. So you have even more storage than the original st stock uh, of this Meltope uh, TSC, uh, I forget. It, like I said, I wanted to do a better video than this, uh, but it's better to have this than nothing at all. So you got you got a, uh, a good deal with this. And um, like this video, subscribe. It helps me get motivated to make more cool, interesting videos. This military industrial museum ask some questions I may not be able to reply because so many viewers of course but uh, I'll try to do what I can as can when can and such and uh, other than that I'm glad to uh, be a service to you and hope you can restore your miltope and have a good working system when it wasn't possible before just a few years ago okay thank you much that's the end of the video